Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part two of my league uh, jersey review. I'm wearing today my 96 frost jersey, the first frost jersey that I ever had. Back then I thought this is the most beautiful thing ever with the strings and also this pattern and then the whole thing. I love this jersey. I have to say it has not particularly aged well but I still like it a lot. I still wish that this cockerel crest would make kind of a comeback, although the current one is very, very nice that Nike is using, so not gonna complain about that one. Also, you see in the background, I have um, put one team that I have a scarf of, uh, but I don't have a jersey of yet, uh, Ren. So we will look at Ren. Yes, there was wearing PSG, so a little bit of Ren, and I think I'll be able to do this for almost all the. Uh, videos that I have a, at least a different scarf back there and probably at the very end of this series I'm gonna do a scarf video on my French scarves hey what a concept I think this would be a nice and fitting end to it all I actually like that idea so let's see that before we go to the new teams uh, again uh, if you watch part one you see I have uh, taken the standings from last season I chopped it into uh, chunks of four and out of each chunk I picked for each video one team uh, you know going zigzaggy in a way and that's how I got the teams in this video and I sort them then alphabetically to kind of keep it a little bit more random but we will not start alphabetically because yesterday I forgot one jersey the and it actually would have fitted quite nicely at the end of that video the Toulouse blackout jersey uh, in honor of Brice Tatan, who is a Toulouse fan who was killed a bit more than 10 years ago now uh, by partisan Belgrade supporters. As far as I know, there's even a stand uh, named in his honor. And yeah, uh, when they celebrated 10 years of that, they put out a blackout jersey, which probably is to lose as nicest. I'm not a big fan of blackout jerseys to be honest uh, and we'll see a few coming up. Uh, Germany is gonna play in a blackout jersey more, more or less but I've said there's something really nice and pleasing about it especially with the old drawstring collar so that also fits nicely the granted collar. Um, would I wish that maybe the crest could pop out a bit more? Yes, I like that the sponsors are black. Uh, you know it's the fashion now to kind of ghost everything on there but i have to say this one is definitely one of the better ones i'm and especially for the color and so on the overall old style look i'm gonna give this even seven stars let's get started and we'll start with the first team where i actually look today at these jerseys to buy them because it's amiens and amiens are the unicorns le licorn in uh, French and given how much my girls love unicorns I thought I better get uh, one of these jerseys. To my positive surprise the jerseys at the moment are only 32 bucks euros that is. Uh, that's the positive so I was almost thinking hmm that I should pounce on on the negative there's a 20 almost 20 euro uh, Euro shipping and that's a little bit too much. The jerseys themselves, and I'm looking here at the home jersey, uh, are not something really special. They take this Puma template that we already saw with Egypt with all the swirls, which is interesting. It's white with a little bit of gray in there. I think it doesn't look bad. Um, given that the Amiens crest in itself is not very colorful I think it kind of uh, makes a very monochromatic look except boom the sponsor there is in full color uh, it reminds me so much of what Lask is doing where uh, as we will see all the other jerseys are nicely fitting it's all um, kid friendly and here the main sponsor is just a mess kind of ruins it a little bit uh, it's not a Great jersey, but it's also not a bad one either. Uh, it's just uh, middle of the park, not exciting, uh, with the sponsor slightly ruining the stuff. I also am not sure about um, what's here on the left side, the sponsor, this 
bar also doesn't look all that great for that reason. In that way, only four stars. However, the away jerseys, and that's the one that I really have looked into buying because here everything is just black and white. You have black, you have gray, and then all the applications are in white. And I think the crest centered, although I'm not a fan of centered crest, I think here it fits very, very, very nicely. Even that one sponsor that's uh, on the top here next to the crest that stuck out horribly, here fits quite nicely, and the intersport is white. That lifts this jersey immediately. Again, nothing spectacular, but given that there are unicorns on there, I better get one of these kind of soonish. I'm gonna give this six stars. Let's move on to Dijon, uh, home of the famous mustard, of course. Uh, Dijon, yeah, what can I say? It's no, not really much. It's a plain red jersey by Lotto. Uh, I think mine's had a, lot of similar stuff last season. Uh, with the red sleeve cuffs, a hole holding the Lotto logo, there's a really not not much to it. I like the color um, somewhat-ish, but in that it's not exciting. Maybe again, French, typically French kid, lots of sponsors on there. Um, but it's not a bad one either, I would say, uh, given this a six star. The away jersey, yeah, there's a slight uh, shadow uh, striping in there, which actually makes it look interesting. Also, the color has a little bit more interest, although it looks also a bit weird uh, with the red and the black in there. Uh, actually, it looks quite in interesting. I just wish that the color would go all the way, not have this kind of beep here on the front. Um, but I also think six stars because it's something div different without being exciting. And then, what color? This darkish, I hate to, I hate this color to be honest. Um, with black, um, I actually would think it, it would look better if there was some red on there. Yes, we have on the socks of that player, there is some red from the sponsor. No. Don't do that. Don't go this camouflage look when there's no reason to it. And that with black, uh, no, no, three stars. We went quick through Dijon. Let's go to Lille, which we already saw in the Champions League jersey review. Up there, um, where I have to say this home jersey by New Balance. It's a typical uh, 1920 New Balance cut that looks kind of boxy on the uh promotion pictures but actually here it works quite well because you have this crazy swirly pattern right behind the crest the downside is that the crest kind of gets lost because of it but the, it is not so bad because you have the solid blue shoulders and you if at first look you don't even see where that the pattern is cut off right around here um sleeves yeah uh, it would be nice if the swirl could continue on this i have to say this pattern is pretty cool and this is very unique uh also i have to say i finally figured out what's the animal on the little crest it's supposedly a bulldog from that illustration i would not have gotten that from previous illustrations yes um i think it's adventurous i overall like it uh it's probably one of the better new balance kits this season for that reason seven stars something i cannot say for the away kit this is just uh, hmm. where does this color come from what does it have to do with lil uh the black it, eh, it just does not jive with me at all there's something seriously wrong in my my perception of, of that one here also the new balance cut is actually hindering this kit to really shine and i stay with my four stars from the uh, champions league jersey review uh however the third jersey that should be the away kit this one i think is exceptional um yes here again the cut the shoulder yoke kind of that extends to the sleeves does not uh, breaks up the pattern that's so nicely centered around the crest the pentagon radiating out i think this is a genius move and it also fits so nicely with the club's colors you have white you have a little bit of the you have a lot of navy blue but then you also uh, sprinkle in a little bit red it's such a, it's a really pleasing jersey and something different you could have gone all with the pin uh 
stripes either horizontally or vertically but putting here in the pan pentagon gives it some a different feel i only wish it would go over the shoulder and maybe even wrap around a little bit uh go a little bit further although that's the smaller co complaint here um i really like this one i think this is the best little jersey this uh, season and that's why i give it eight stars and then Lil also issued a 75th anniversary kit um, early uh, early in the season. And yeah, as far as classic kits go, uh, 75th anniversary because in 1944 there was a merger and I realized this was right in the middle of World War II. I have to say this kit is awesome. <laughs> I really like the Fleur de Lis uh, as the... Uh, centerpiece then you have the chevron in there with more fleur de lis uh, in there uh, the shirt uh, polo style color I mean what's not to love with all this this is a really 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 great looking jersey now um, given that it's historic I don't you know I would wish there was a bulldog somewhere on there but um, that's not what they had initially so I really have to give them props for that I wish that Lil would go back to a design like that uh, to really make their uh, kit stand out a little bit more again I love that the supplier logo is ghosted and there's no sponsor not even Monaco had sponsors this one does not have absolute gorgeous um, classic looking kit 10 stars I mean this is very very special I this is one I would love to have. Moving on from the far north, we go far south and we go to Nice. And like with last season, Nice is supplied by Macron. They give us what a Macron Milan kit could look like. And like last season, when I did the review, the promo picture from Footy Headlines doesn't show any sponsor. There is a huge, huge Ineos sponsor going over and the sleeves of a sponsor. So, so the actual kit looks a lot more messy than... Uh, this kit looks here because this way to sponsor this it's a beauty absolute beauty that i would uh, immediately give nine stars with sponsors though if you look at it here in a match against lil the third jersey that we just looked at uh looks a little bit more messy and i'm gonna drop it down just a grade and i will give this kit an eight star rating the uh away jersey you know how I don't like gray as a color. Yes, I have a gray jersey here in Barcelona, which is nice. Uh, I actually think this one doesn't look too 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 bad. And I know it's something different than uh, just having a white jersey, which was already last season. I do like the red and black color. And, you know, maybe it, uh, the sleeve cuffs could wrap, wrap around. It doesn't look bad. Again, there's a huge sponsor on there. So I have to take this into account in my rating. I don't have a match photo of this one but to be honest it's it's not my favorite period it just leaves me blah in a way and for that reason i give this only uh yeah four stars and then the most interesting jersey is yeah nice goes a little bit further east and copies some Doria jersey i mean if there was the nice crest in the center this is a Sampdoria jersey uh, Sampdoria also has the red stripe up, uh, above the black. I can check easily because it's hanging right up there, my version of it. As for a look, I mean the Sampdoria look is one of the finest out there. Uh, it's with the black and the red, given those are the club's colors of Nice, it also makes sense. Um, but more than that, let me quickly check. Yeah, similarly, like yesterday with Reims, there is some blue in the flag of Nice, but it's more like waves, so I'm not sure if it is. So I was just hoping that this would save it. <sighs> I like the design. I'm not sure I like it as a Nice jersey per se. To be honest, although the blue, it really looks nice. Uh, and you know it also has huge sponsors on there which kind of devalue it a little bit it's one also with black shorts which also develops it but you know just shows by itself nah, let's give it seven seven stars it's a it's a nice jersey it's a nice jersey for sure then we're going to ren uh so southeast northwest more or less uh we saw this jersey already in the europa league jersey review also up there 
And I have to say, I was not sure whether Ren had uh, half and half jerseys before. And I know this half and half is like similar to the Watford one, where uh, it's on the back is I think just red, as far as I know. Uh, sponsor is huge on there. But I have to say, given that in the crest you have the half and half look, it makes totally sense on the jersey. The one thing that I wish, and I really don't like centered crest, but here the crest centered on the stripe would make perfect sense. It would be like what Basel has been doing on it. It's a really nice, simple, nice striking jersey. For that reason, I stay with the nine stars that I gave it. Um, the away jersey, though, I still do not understand. It's the same template that we saw with Amiens earlier today. And I have to say, um, it's this really pattern, but why blue? Why blue? And again, I, I actually should have checked. Um, if Ren plays at PSG, you cannot pull out the black and red one. You cannot pull out the blue one. You need a white one somewhere. I would uh, think, or you pull out one from last season, which is probably what they're doing. I think last last season the waiters it was a really really nice one, featuring this pattern. That 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 was also high on my list. This one, yeah, it's alright. It's the pattern, blah blah blah. It just doesn't make much sense to me for that reason. Four stars, and that ends my review for today. A little bit shorter than yesterday, but I didn't have such a big intro. Also, we had quite some jerseys already covered in there. Um, let me know what you thought about the jerseys that I talked about here um, in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinion. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, especially part 3 coming tomorrow. And I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye!